Thank you, God. Word of the Lamb Ministries welcomes you to Sunday message. Amen. Glory to God. I don't know about everybody else, but I do know about me. I'm glad to see you this morning. I'm glad that the people who are here are here. I'm glad for the individuals around us. Right now, today, amen, glory to God, I need you to give me a, a opportunity just to talk with me a little bit, amen, glory to God, just to let us know that everything's going to be all right. Now, oh, I know boy. that there's some people out there who are watching us live on Facebook. Good morning to each and every one of you, amen, and we're so glad that you made an opportunity to get here. I want to let all of us know, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. I think the ones from the uh, things and we received some stuff. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We even got a, a, a couple of uh, thank you cards from some people. Amen. That I, um, I appreciate you for letting it know. I wanted to be let that known earlier this morning. Amen. Glory to God. I know that we have um, something for you. I know that the evangelist is going to give you some uh, announcements today. And if you will pay close attention to them, Please, and if you if you have it, mark your calendars, mark, write it down, do whatever it is that you need to do to be able to to be a part of all the events that will be taken care of. Right now, I turn this into the hands of Evangelist Lady Sunshine. Amen. Good day, good day, good day to everyone at Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries. We are the official church without walls, feeding your faith and doubt will starve. It is a wonderful, great day that the Lord has made and we will be glad in it. We invite everyone to our many services throughout the week. We have Monday Bible study at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have prayer on the prayer line where we will pray for you and with you. A wonderful, awesome time in the presence of our God. Every other Wednesday, we have our fun, fantastic fellowship time with the book club at 7 p.m. Eastern time for the book that we are reading and the time and dates that we are gathering together to discuss and enjoy each other's company in Christ and a wonderful book, please go to our website at www.wordofthelamb.org. That is wordofthelamb.org. And every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Friday Encouraging Word, where many times we have guest speakers and Bible trivia, poetry night. You never know what's going to happen on Friday Encouraging Word, but you're always guaranteed a good time in God. So come on out and don't be a part of the I Should Have Been There Club. And I've been there. <laughs> and every first fruit Saturday, every first Saturday of the month, we have a wonderful event that is first fruit Saturday between the hours of 12 noon and 1 p.m giving God the first fruit of all that we have that belongs to him. Amen. And every Sunday, you guessed it, right here, live on Facebook, Zoom, Twitter, and your favorite social media, we have our general Sunday message with our own beloved Pastor Brian, bringing the word of God to the people of God. And at 10 a.m. every Sunday, Right here, we have our most precious treasures, our Little Lambs Church. Why don't you bring your lamb to learn about the Lamb of God? Children's Church, Little Lambs Church, every Sunday at 10 a.m. And our Little Lambs are not televised to protect our littlest treasures. And if you would like more information on how to bring your little lamb, please contact us at wordofthelamb at outlook.com, wordofthelamb at outlook.com. We look forward to hearing from you. And we'd like for you to know that we have a women's ministry, a men's ministry, and so much more. We have an outreach. We have many more services. And we have two special events that we'd like for you to save the date. 
And please share it and invite a friend. You will be blessed. The women's ministry and this is any one can come on the event, but it is being sponsored by our women's ministry. There is a wonderful event taking place May 20th. We will have a wonderful guest speakers and more details are to come. Also on the fifth Sunday of January, which is January 30th, we have a guest speaker, which will be our own in-house Deacon Stephen Chappelle bringing the word of God. And we would like each and every one of you bring someone so they can be strengthened and, and gain and gather wisdom and understanding of what God is teaching for such a time as this. We also would like to let everyone know that if you are interested in membership, church membership, if you just have questions about what must I do to be saved? Please contact us at wordofthelamb at outlook.com. We would love to hear from you and help you with your journey. We can't get you to heaven, but we can point you to the right direction. And at this time, we would like to thank each and every one of you who are partnering with this particular ministry with your tax deductible donation. We have for your convenience, a QR code, a text to give, a PayPal donate button on our website. And if you would like to send your tax deductible donation to further our commission, which is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout all four corners of the world, you can do so by mail also at PO Box 320-391, Hartford, Connecticut. 06132. Again, our address is P.O. Box 320391, Hartford, Connecticut, 06132. And if you'd like to drop us a line via mail, and give us a praise report, we'll praise with you. And we'd love to hear from each and every one of you and what God is doing in your life and through your life to impact others around you. And if you would like to know any other questions that we may be able to assist. And if you would like to send us a prayer request, please do so. You can do it by mail. You can do it on our website. You can do it on our Facebook and you can do it via email at wordofthelamatoutlook.com. And we also have something very special that we continue every week. And that is unity prayer. It is Monday through Friday, three times a day. 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 noon, and 6 p.m. We are praying and invite you to come and pray with us at any of those times, Monday through Friday. We are praying for a global community for such a time as this. And we thank you for your patience in these announcements. And again, please, while you're on today, take the courage and post it on your page and share it with everyone. May 20th, the Women's Ministry is sponsoring a wonderful event. All are invited. It is not just one gender, male, female, we are all invited to come and join this special event on May 20th. And on January 30th, that's this month, the fifth Sunday, our guest speaker, Deacon Steve, will be bringing forth a word of God for the people of God. So share the date. And we'd like to, at this time, thank you once again. And we would like you to know, even in the social media that you're watching, this ministry, we are free and have been delivered to freely praise God. And you can do so. Send an emoji. I like those. Go ahead and just let God use you and break out of praise. It might break the chains for you. So we thank you once again. Gracias por estar con nosotros este domingo. Están con Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries, la iglesia oficial sin paredes. Dándole a comer a su fe y no dándole a comer a su duda.
Nosotros tenemos muchos servicios por la semana. Les invitamos a nuestra página para que vean todos los servicios de lunes a domingo. También tenemos cosas como lunes, estudios bíblicos, martes y jueves, oración. El miércoles tenemos un club de libros y los viernes tenemos palabra de apoyo. También tenemos el primer sábado, el primer fruto de oración. Y todos los domingos, la palabra general y iglesia para los niños, las ovejitas, nuestros tesoros más pequeños. Muchísimas cosas que tenemos para ustedes, para fortalecer diariamente ustedes con la palabra de Dios y tener entendimiento y sabiduría con su palabra. También queremos darle las gracias a todo Latinoamérica y Puerto Rico por su donación generosamente a nuestro ministerio para seguir con nuestra comunicación y diferente comunicación para seguir mandando la palabra de Dios por todo el mundo. Si usted quiere estar con nosotros y participar en esta parte del programa, tenemos en nuestra página la página con el botón de donación. Tenemos el QR code y también tenemos un text again. Les damos las gracias antemano por estar con ese ministerio y que Dios los bendiga y lo acompañe. At this time, we will turn these services over to our own beloved Pastor Brian. Glory to God. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Glory to God. Hope that you heard from each and every one. Hallelujah. I hope you wrote down what was necessary. Amen. Glory to God. And don't forget about our events coming up. Amen. And we love to see each and every one of you, not only there, but we love to see you bring some individuals in and come and share with us. Because every time we have an event, it is a wonderful event. The Spirit of God comes and, and it's just a wonderful thing. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. First and foremost, amen. Glory to God. I, I just I want to just quickly do this, amen. Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, I ask you to look upon Deacon Steve right now, God. I ask you to touch him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. God, I'm expecting a healing. I'm expecting an overflow. I'm expecting a, a touch of, of you, Father God. And I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, just as you came into Paul's house, Father God, and his mother-in-law was laying there. You touched his hand. Touched her hand, Father God, and she was made whole. Lord, I'm asking you right now, God, that you will touch upon him, Father, and that he will be made whole, Father God, perfectly made whole. Now, Father, I'm asking you that you will strengthen right now in the name of Jesus, that the Holy Ghost will come upon him, Father God, and move in every area, Father God. And God, I thank you, Father God. We turn back every sickness and attack in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're getting ready to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Thank Lord. you, God. Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's been a, a, a long week, amen. Glory to God. I've um, had a lot of uh, individuals calling and telling me about people who've passed and things that are going on and you know, just stuff happening all around, amen, glory to God, but I'm so happy that we are here, amen, glory amen. to God, God, that you could have been anywhere else, amen, that God woke us up this morning, he breathed it into us, amen, amen, glory to God, that we, that we are, we are able to move in those directions, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. Now, Father, I'm asking you right now in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you that there will be less of me and more of you, Father. I'm asking you that you overflow in our area. Lord, I ask you that you will take full control, Father God. 
And God, I thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're getting ready to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. I need y'all to put your minds on, on the Lord Jesus. Amen, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I can feel the, 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 the resistance. I can feel the, 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 the pull away. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the Bible says to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you. I'm, I'm, I'm searching because I, I feel it because I know that God is with us. Amen. Glory to God. And he's getting ready to do some marvelous and wonderful things. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It might seem like you've been shook up in the bottle. Amen. Glory to God. But hallelujah. Sometimes you have to be shook up to be mixed up so that things will be all right in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Because sometimes instead of being one flavor, you have to be two. See, God says that he can mix all the things that are in you into one particular thing. And he calls that a part of the body that you will be in Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That we are made of a different kind of mixture. Amen. Glory to God that we are mixed with all the things that God has endowed us to do. And amen. And each and every time there's something different that will happen. Today you might be snap, but tomorrow you might be crackle. And the next day you might be pop. Amen. Glory to God in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. I got to um, know one thing for sure. And I'm looking for somebody to talk back to me today. Amen. Glory to God. Good morning to all those that are on Facebook. Amen. Do you have your sword with you? For those who have their sword or don't know what your sword is, amen. Glory to God. Amen. Your amen. sword is the word of God. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you also to know that we want you to understand that we are at a place where you'll feed your faith and doubt will start. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. We have to go a little bit past what you know. Go past mm -hmm. what you know, because in all actuality, God knows all things. So amen. Put your, put your trust in him. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I got a, I got a little word. Of amen. And amen. I got this word because, you know, I got a lot of things just like everybody else going on in their minds and their hearts and soul. And, you know, God is just so good and I'm putting my trust in him. But, I, you know, every once in a while, you know, the Lord's got to sit down and, and, and do some things. And every once in a while, like David did, you got to go and encourage yourself. Amen. Glory to God, because, you know, you 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 an encourage you have to encourage yourself because the people around you might try to encourage you but you might not be hearing what they have to say and you might be saying the same the same old same old same old but you you know sometimes we just have to hear it for ourselves in ourselves so we can take the opportunity we might have to turn the words around so we have a better understanding sometimes we have to shake some stuff off and get an understanding of where we are we sometimes got to move in certain places that we know we were meant to move to, but we have to take that time to get there. Sometimes you got to fall on the ground and get back up and dust yourself off and keep taking the next step. And if you fall again, do the same thing again till you get to where you're going. Because sometimes you can't let nothing stop you from going where you got to go. Amen. Mm. That ain't my message, but... uh. I, 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 I'm just going by what the Holy Ghost say, amen. Glory amen. to God, hallelujah. But I got a word for you, amen. And I, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to turn your, your Bibles to Acts, the 26th chapter. And I'm gonna just ask you to park it there. We're gonna get there eventually, amen. Glory to God, Acts, the 26th chapter. Um, I'll be reading from the English version and I'll be reading from the King James version. When I'm, I'm there, I'll let you know what versions I'm reading from when we get to the ones we are. I, I believe that when we get to Acts, the 26th chapter, I'll be reading from the King James Version. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. You get up. Acts, amen. the 26th chapter. Amen. Glory to God. You got to look. You, I, I, I'll meet it, meet it again, but I want you to have an understanding of that. I want to give you my title today. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I won't give you my aim, but I'm going to give you my title. 
because then my title is my aim. Amen. Glory to God. My title is have a little walk with Jesus. We don't mind walking, right? Amen. We don't mind walking. We've been we walked all our lives, and some some of us are still walking. Some of us have walked all the way around. So you might be walking around your house. You you might might walk around whether you walking around limping, whether you walking around leaning, whether you you might be you might be using the equipment to make you move. You might be rolling around in your direction, whatever it, it may be. You still making sure that you're walking around some particular kind of way. And for those who ain't walking, they riding, you know, whichever way. But you don't mind walking around. And I mean that in a certain way. When you were younger, you didn't mind walking to wherever you are. But you didn't mind walking with somebody. Because when you walk with somebody, it made it even better. You know, once in a while you walk to some places. But when you walk with someone else, you was always all right. Right? So... Let's take the time to walk together, y'all. Amen. 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 Let's take the time to walk together. Now, if, if I had just told you in Jesus' name and say amen and you call on an altar call, will y'all be happy? No. <laughs> uh, all right, because God didn't get that to me just for that anyway. <laughs> amen. Glory to God. Somebody amen. said, yeah. Somebody yes. said, oh, oh, boy, we going to get out real early. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, I want to know how to walk. I want to know how to walk, Pastor Bishop. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'm looking for the talk show that's going to help me out today. See, I want to learn to walk. So the Bible tells us this in First Peter, the second chapter and the 21st verse. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. For this, Amen. for this, for for to this, you have been called, because Christ has suffered for you, leaving you an example so that ye you may follow his steps okay let me read that again for for to this you have been called because christ has also suffered for you leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps we're put out in ourselves that we're walking with Jesus. We all got that mindset. We're walking with Jesus. Are you walking with Jesus for the second? Are you walking with him for the down the street? Mm. Are you walking with him for the journey? How are you walking? with jesus those are self things you're gonna to have to put upon yourself amen glory to god because we're we're, we're self-analyzing i'm self-analyzing i'm i'm not i'm not speaking to y'all i was all this is speaking about myself how am i walking with jesus is my walk okay you know whether i'm i'm walking and, and physically, I might not be walking as, as, as well as I could be, you know, I'm not running, but I, 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 I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, taking my time. But I, even if I did take my time, it'd still be good because Jesus will still be walking with me. He's not going to over, he's not going to leave me behind in my walk. He wants to walking with me because while I'm walking with him, he's showing me stuff. I've learned to take the opportunity to listen when I'm walking with Jesus. You see, as, as we walk with Jesus, uh, we, we learn that Jesus has to direct us. You know, there's some ways that we're walking. When you're walking with as, as, a, as a baby and your baby is walking, amen, he gets up there or she or she gets up and they're, they're, they're moving around, but before you do those things and you know that they're almost ready to walk, what do you do? You put your hand out and you hold their hand for them to stand Amen. up so that they can have an understanding of how to move them feet. Mm -hmm. Whether they go back to crawling or not is, is on them. And amen. They, 
But once they get an opportunity and you start to look around and why you why you why you know kids are smart, why you out of the room, they done grab, they done jumped on the table, start <laughs> bouncing up and down. And when they think they hear you coming, they roll back on the floor like you ain't did nothing. I, I'm still in the same spot. I can't really walk, but you know that that the piece that was over there in the corner that they done got this near them, that, you know, how did they do it? Yeah, you know, somebody had to get up and walk to get it and nobody else was in the room. Sometimes we walk ourselves in different directions and don't know about it. You know, when you were a kid, when you are learning to walk and, and another is I'm trying to bring you to a point here, here is that when we walk with Jesus, when we walk on the spiritual side, amen, we start to get a little bit different we start to get that same thing because we're we're walking and, and we're learning how to walk with Jesus. Is is that means that every time that we walk and we fall, it's it's um and here's here's the thing. I want to say this to each and every one of you. No matter how old you are in Christ, you can walk and you can fall. You can Amen. still fall. It's all about getting back up and trying it again. And if you were a little or if you were on the floor right now and you needed to get up and you knew that you had to get up, you'll find a way to get up. Whether it meant you had to pull up on something, if that means you had to scoot somewhere, whatever it may be. And if you couldn't move those legs, you'll find a way to get somewhere where you can get yourself pulled up to an area where you can get up. Last week, I told you about getting up. Now I'm telling you about walking. Now, yes. See, I told you last week, uh, get up. Yep. But this mm -hmm. week, I'm telling you, it's time to start walking. So while we're walking in our area, sometimes you got to understand some things. Sometimes you got to walk out of some situations. Oh, no more now. Some of us are going through some stuff right now. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. We got to walk out of that situation. You don't have, you might not have to physically walk out, but you have to spiritually say, I'm not going in this direction no more. Amen. If I'm going to keep running into the same thing and as, as the woman of God said, then that's, I keep doing the same thing at the same whole time. That's insanity. She said, so I got to be able to do some things right. I got to do some things better. And you can't be walking around trying to be sneaky about stuff. See, because mm -hmm. when you're sneaky about some things, mm -hmm. it gets revealed to you. I'm not talking about anybody here. I'm just talking about things that happen. Think about your past. Did you touch that candy? No. But that that wrapper is right on that piece of candy uh, piece is right on you. You smell like the candy, and that wrapper is in your pocket. <laughs> but you ain't and you ain't touched the candy, knowing that you did. <laughs> did you go out last night? No, know that you did because I heard you when you walked in. <laughs> mm hmm. You might have sat there and, and, and say something to somebody. I didn't say that, but you know you said it. Sometimes we got to own up to the things we have to do. Amen. Glory to God. But as we walk, let us walk as Jesus had directed us to. So to walk by faith and not by sight. He says to walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible says to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Glory to God. Because sometimes when we're walking into stuff, you'll look at it and say, this is a mess. Uh -huh. You'll go into some scenarios and say, this is a mess because your, 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 your carnal self will tell you those things. Amen. But your spiritual self has to also say, it's a mess, but I'm getting ready to go ahead and pray my God in here. Because whatever is not of God, when I get finished, got to go. And that means that everything that's messy won't be messy no more. Hey. I have to think that way. That's how I have to be. Sometimes I, I say things to people or uh, somebody says something to me and, I, and, I, and, I, and it's it is not how God wants me to do it. And I have to let them know that's not how God wants me to do it. 
And you have to do it the way the Lord has told you to do it. Amen. To God. Matthew, the 17th chapter, the 20th verse, still in the English Standard Version, y'all. He said to them, because of your little faith, for truly I say unto you, if you have the faith of like a grain of a mustard seed, you could say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. When we walk with Jesus, all things are possible. You might not even believe it, but I'm letting you know that all things are possible. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem that way because we're limited sometimes in our mindset as to what we think possibilities really are. Yes. But when you start to look back at all the impossible things that you got out of it, you have to say to yourself that all things are possible through God, through Christ, who strengthens me. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to think about the things of your past, amen. I need you to think about the things that you're going through right now. Amen. I need you to Amen. think about the things that you're fighting against right now. Amen. And some of us are fighting against some things because they're standing on a principle and the principle is, is, is needs to be reevaluated. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I need, need you to get that understanding too. Amen. You might not be a jump up and down message, but I'm giving you something that's going to be feeding your soul, feed your faith, and your doubt will starve. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I need you to understand that sometimes we need to reevaluate some things because sometimes while we're doing something, God shifts. Yes. And if you're still doing what God has told you to do, but you didn't hear him tell you to shift, then maybe you, you, when he told you to shift and you still want to do what you want to do and he told you to shift and you didn't shift, that means you out of order. Mm. Amen. Where you walking to? Who you walking with? Because mm. you're not walking with him when he said, I'm going this way. You should be like, I'm coming too. Amen. Amen. We've all been in that scenario. We've all been in that circumstance. We'll walk our own way, do what we want to do. You're going to get your end result, but your end mm -hmm. result means that you're still going to have to catch up with Jesus. Amen. Talk about it. It's just the fact that it's going to take you a little bit longer if you will learn the lesson because some of us start to get in there and get too hard-headed. Hmm. Yeah, that's when they start singing them songs. I did it my way. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, okay, you did it your way. I'm doing it God's way. I'm doing it Jesus' way. What's up with that? Huh? Amen. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. You know, I tried some things my way. Thought I was on top of the world. Moving all around. Hey, I got it going on. <laughs> Until I found out that I wasn't on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I had walked in a whole different direction. So I wasn't, I didn't have it going on. I just seen it going on. <laughs> you know? Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just tell the truth, saying the devil. Sister Amen. Amen. I know I can preach. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. First John, amen. Glory to God. I, I, I need I need to I need to hear you. I, amen. Glory to God. I, I need to know that I, I'm not just alone. I, I, I appreciate amen. the evangelists moving like they move, and I appreciate y'all helping me out today. I need amen. that today. Amen. Because I want to 
I'm walking with Jesus and amen, glory to God. I want I want to let you know that the walk that I'm having is a beautiful walk, amen. But there's some bumps and some bruises and some stuff in the way that I got to go through, but it's okay because I'm still walking with Jesus. No matter what's going on, I'm still going to hold on with him because sometimes I'm walking with him and sometimes I could just barely see him, but I hear his voice. So I'm going in a direction where he at because he had taken me out of some places. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you got to go out of the thick and the, the thistles. You got to kick through the brushes. Sometimes you got to go to the peaks and sometimes you go into the valleys. Sometimes you got to swim across some rivers. Sometimes you got to come across some mud. And when the midst of all that, you have to understand that you continue to hold on to Jesus's hand so that the sand that you have that you're walking on don't become quick. Oh, did I say that right? Let me bring that around so they don't become quick sand. Amen. Amen. Get out. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm preaching a little bit today, I think, you know, ahead, you know, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a preacher. I, you know, I like to teach the word. Amen. Glory to God. I like, I like to teach this word. Amen. Glory to God. But I, I got a, I got a reason for the things that I'm doing. Amen. Glory to God. I'm just letting you know that God just reminded me of who he is in my walk with him. I said last time we got up, now it's time to walk. So I don't know about you, but I remember there used to be a song out there that said, you know, everybody walk your body, everybody walk. Mm. <laughs> you know, amen, a little circle of song out there. But I'm going to let you know it's time to walk in Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Who are you walking with? Mm. Mm, amen glory to god hallelujah amen. glory to god where am i where am i here amen glory to god hallelujah first john two three and six says and by now we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments uh oh mm -mm. all right hold on we know that we have come to know him i think i heard everybody on zoom here and those maybe on the line tell mm. me that they know jesus amen now here's the other part it isn't a thing it says if that means that means you got a chance to fall off or walk in a different direction don't walk that way mm. He said to walk this way, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, if we keep his commandments, whosoever says, I know him, listen to me now. I want you to get an understanding. There's a lot of people who you run across who as soon as they see you, they want to talk about the Lord because they just want to talk about the Lord to you. And you know by the discerning spirit in you that they ain't right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we ain't here to judge them. We here okay. to show them how to get right. Okay. Come on and take this walk with me, brother and sister. Mm. Let us walk. It says that uh, I, I read it from the beginning. And by this, we know that we have come to know him. If we keep his commandments, whosoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But oh, whosoever God. keeps his word in him, truly, the love of God is perfected. By this we know that we are in him whosoever shall says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. Uh oh. Amen. Are you walking? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let me put my serious face on. How you walking? Right? Are you walking with Jesus? 
And if you're not walking with Jesus, why aren't you walking with Jesus? Why, why can you give me a reason why? Besides the fact that you might be scared that there's a change that will happen that will change your whole life. Oh, boy. Okay. If you want something to change your whole life, mess up all the things around you, get you all cleaned up and moved out of things, if you want to find yourself going into heaven and not hell, then maybe you might want to walk with Jesus. Amen. That's just my opinion. Mm, 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 amen. But I just want you to get an understanding that, hey, I used to think a certain way. But when I got an opportunity to spend some time around my Christ, around my Jesus, around Yahshua, when I got time to spend around the good in Morning Star, wonderful, the counselor. When I got an opportunity to spin around the man of God, the, the son of man, son of God. When I got an opportunity to spend some time listening and word, learning the word, of Jesus, of my Savior. I changed my whole entire walk. I no longer wanted to walk in a certain way. And yeah, it didn't all of a sudden just flip over. It took a little time to do it, but it did. And while it took that time to do it, I still was working on things. I'm still working on stuff to this day, but yet I'm going to continue to walk with Jesus and he loves me even in my imperfections. Amen. Or, or for some of us, I'm going to change the words imperfection to your issues. Mm. Mm. Amen. That's all See, I'm having a little walk with Jesus. You see, the Bible tells us in Psalms 1 and 1, it said, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the ways of sinner, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. Amen. I want to stop right there. You got to understand something. Sometimes you can't hang with the rest of the people. People, you, you can't sit there and judge them and say, yeah, yeah, I think you okay, or say, uh-huh, or agree with something that you know ain't right. Amen. If Talk you don't about take it. the stand, somebody got to take the stand. Amen. I'm not going to sit there and let any of y'all talk be, be talked about in front of me by somebody that just shouldn't be talking to you because that ain't going to happen. Amen. I don't care what a person that did way back when. You could be anybody back then, but God changed you and put something on you. So there's a difference. I'm not the same person I am now. But if you're looking at me from the lensful eyes of the past, then you got a problem because you can't see the future. Mm hmm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Walk with me. Talk with me. And once you get an understanding of me, you might say, well, I like this one because I didn't like the last one. But the things that we're doing, we're not doing for any other person. We're not doing it to please man. We're not doing that towards you to give me an ad boy or a tap on the back it ain't got nothing to do with it i'm trying to get to heaven it ain't got nothing to do with you personally i got to do what i got to do and this is the way that i'm walking i'm taking me having a little walk with jesus oh i'm gonna walk with him as much as possible Amen. there are times we must take a stand in our walk when we walk with the Lord, once again, I ask you, how are you walking? 
John 8 and 12 tells us that Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whosoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Are you walking in the light of life? Are you walking to help your brothers, sisters, and brothers out there in Christ? Or are you looking from the shadows? Are you standing on the sidelines? Does the situation walk by you and you say, well, I'm going to let someone else handle it? Or is it, I can get you here, but I, I, I'm not going to go all the way over there because I don't want to invest my time. How you walking? Jesus walked and he said, I, I spend time with the sinners and I spend time with the poor. I spend time with the needy. I spend time with the sick. I spent time with the people who are in the synagogues. I spent time with every individual. And even if they didn't like him, they couldn't say anything about how he walked. Amen. Amen. They might not have liked some of the things that were said. And you're not going to be popular when you're out here speaking. Somebody, whether we come online or whether they were out past this, ain't going to listen or like this message. Amen. That's right. Somebody going to say, well, I'm already working with God. So they already tuned themselves out. Well, good. You tuned yourself out. That's wonderful. But I got nothing to do with me because you and God got to talk about that. Mm. Amen. My job is to bring you the word, and whether you hear it or not, is not is, is on you because I have brought mm -hmm. you this word. Amen. Whether you like it or not, you saying this word ain't meant for me. Well, it might not be meant for you, it might be meant for the next individual who you run into so that you'll have some ammunition on how to get them to walk with Jesus. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because if you're sitting there saying, I'm a good Christian, I'm going to church, I'm doing all the things you're doing, but you're not going out there talking to somebody about how to walk, what's going on? Amen. Yeah. Well, maybe you said, I talked to the people around me. Well, then maybe you need to expand your people. Hmm. Or maybe you done did what you need to do and all you got to do right now is pray for them people. Lord, I did Amen. what you asked me to do. I'm, I'm asking you right now, God, that you bless them in a certain way that they'll learn how to walk to you. Mm, amen and lord even if they're looking from a distance and they see me lord i want to be able to they can see me knowing that i'm walking with you amen see i want to be able to change how people perceive me because i don't want them to look at me i want them to look at you and how i'm walking with you lord jesus Mm, see I want to change some thoughts about it that you ain't looking at me yeah I'm, I'm the pastor of this church only because God ordained it to be that way but I'll walk with Jesus amen bless him Lord bless see because I walk the other way and even though it seems like a wonderful place to be at times It satisfies the carnal mind and the heart. But like Rick James said, when you're on the top, there's only place you can really go is down, down, down. And when you're in a carnal mind, when you're not in the spiritual, but you're going on the physical, you, you can be up. And you can be down. You can be the most popular person for a little while and unpopular 
after that. In my own thoughts and theories and conversations that I've had, it seems to me that most people who are hanging out in the world only want to hang out with you when you have something. Yes. But the moment yes. that you yes. don't have anything, yes. Go ahead, they now. look at their watch and say, yes. ah, would you look at the time? I got to go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. God showed mm -hmm. me this. He said, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you all the people that you have around you that some of them ain't going to be there. And when I said that I didn't have, but I did, but he's let me say I didn't have. I seen so many people leave. Mm. It, was, it was it was like somebody somebody had 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 told them to get out the building. They was running out there like the like like it was time like the building was on fire. Mm. And he left me three people. One's passed. The other two are my friends to this day. They my people. They know that if they are, I, I, they give me a call. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to say that he left me. He left me four people. Four, maybe a little bit more. He left me about four or five people. But out of those people right there, if I call upon them, they come. If they call upon me, I'm coming. Mm. Sometimes you can't depend on a lot of people. You know that people will hurt your mind, your heart, your soul. And some people aren't walking with you. Uh-oh. I think I might have jumped myself ahead of myself. <laughs> Hold on now. I, I think it, I, I might have jumped now. myself watch ahead of now. myself now. Watch it now. Uh-oh. Watch it now. Jesus, let me bring myself back so I can bring you there because I I done moved myself to a different area now. Let me let me go. Let me rewind a little bit, just a little bit. It says John 8 and 12 tells us. Jesus will again. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me walks in darkness, but will have the light of life. Are you walking in the light? Are you walking toward helping your brothers and sisters in Christ? Once again, the Bible tells us in John, first John. One and seven. But if we walk in the light, uh oh, wait a minute. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So that means if you're walking in the light, you're walking with what? Who? You're walking with Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you something in the Bible so you'll have an understanding that I'm telling you something that's there. So I'm not only preaching, but I'm teaching you something today. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm the light of the world. It says, but if I walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. My sisters and my brothers, I'm telling you, we fellowship with one another. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to talk to you right now and let you know that we're going to walk with Jesus. And amen. While we're walking with Jesus, we we're going to continue to move on our way. And some of the stuff that people are saying, some of the things that are happening, we're going to have to just go ahead and keep on walking. Now, there's certain things, right, we don't do because we stubborn. <laughs> I, I ain't going to tell you. You be, you could walk, you be walking with Jesus. And you, you know what you're going to say? As soon as somebody says something that nature, you're going to say, God knows my heart. <laughs> yeah. God knows your heart, but you better walk in the way that Jesus has told you. Because why you got what God knows your heart, He said, walk this way, and you still don't want to walk in that way. So tell me something. Are you being obedient? Mm. Hmm? Uh oh. You know, Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, and he says that why we fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us. From all sins. That means that while we're walking in Jesus, we're being cleansed of all sins. That means the sins that you have, you know, those ones that you don't tell nobody else about, that one that's always up there that nobody else will talk about, the things that you know that you can't really say outside or say to yourself because, or say to other people because you know if they hear it, they might run and tell that and mess up your whole scenario of who you are 
are, but you know that I got I got this issue problem or whatever. I'm going to bring this before God himself. I'm going to let him know, Lord Jesus, while I'm walking with you, I'm walking this, but I got to mm -hmm. walk out of that situation. And Lord, I know by you, I can walk out of that situation. I can get myself into a better place as well, long as I'm walking with you. Mm. Amen. Because you said that if I walk with you, the blood of Jesus, his son, is going to cleanse all sin. It's time we have a little walk with Jesus. Now, now I, I, I was ahead of myself earlier, so I'm going to bring you back to there. There's someone, there's some who is not going to walk with you. Mm. Amen. Amen. There's some people who are not going to walk with you. Amen. Glory to God. As much as you really want them to, they're not going to walk with you. Amen. You're desiring in your heart that you want them to be saved. You want them to do whatever it is. But is the word the key word in it is you. You want. You want. That's not what God said. I'm. I'm some people are not going to walk with you. Amen. It doesn't mean that they won't walk with Jesus, especially if they have been called by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen? It Amen. doesn't mean that. It means that it's in, it's in Jesus. It's time with God's time. Now, let's turn. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and, and, and do a little something here. Amen. And turn your Bibles to um, Acts, the 26th chapter. Amen. Glory to God. And for those who have that don't know that Acts, the 26th chapter, it's where we want you to be. I'm reading from the King James Version. When you have it, say amen. If amen. you're looking through your Bible and you're trying to find out where Acts is, you go Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And right after John comes, Acts. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want you to know that. So some people might not know. But when you're moving kind of fast, you're trying to do some things, you know. So I know how it is. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All right. Reading from the King James Version, the 26th chapter. Amen. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered for him. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I, have an I shall answer for myself this day before the touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore, I beseech thee to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, which was at first among my own nation at Jerusalem, knew no all all the Jews, which knew me from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most straightest sect of our religion, I lived the Pharisees. And now I, I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers. Unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving God day and night, hoping to come, hope to come, for which hope shall sake King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the nature to the name of Jesus of Nazareth, which things I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests, and when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them, and I punished them off to every synagogue, and compelled them to blaspheme, and began exceedingly mad against them. I persecuted them even unto strange cities. I'm trying to get you somewhere. Just hang out with me. Glory to God. Wherefore, as I went to Damascus, the authority and commission 
from the chief priests at midday, O king, I saw the way of the light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining around about me and then them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speak unto me saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute me? It is hard for thee to kick against a brick. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand up upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I send thee, to, to open their eyes and to turn them from the darkness to the light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forever forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. I want to stop right there. Sometimes, and I say this again, some people cannot walk with you. And sometimes, even though they're walking in a whole different way, doesn't mean that eventually they might walk into, into Christ. I'm just giving you an example of Saul who sat there and persecuted, thinking he was doing something right and ran into Christ on his walk mm -hmm. to Damascus. See, because sometimes when we walk someplace, even sometimes when we think we're walking away from Christ, mm -hmm. we sometimes understand that we're walking right into him. Amen. Jonah said, I'm running in the opposite direction. I'm getting away from whatever that was going on that God wanted me to do. And while he was doing that, he walked upon, he went into the sea. They threw him up there. The, 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 the fish just swallowed him up. And, and, and after he decided to say, I'm sorry, and I'm going to do what you say do, he, they threw him up on the shore. And he walked into the place where he needed to walk to to do what he has to do. When you are called to do something, God's going to make a way. And he, when he calls you, when you try to even run away from it or not do what you're supposed to do, amen, he's going to make it a way for you that you'll have to do these particular things. It's not because you have to. You can make a choice to say, I'm not going to do it. But it's better to just go ahead and do what God wants you to do because there's a reason behind it. It sometimes don't have anything, and most of the time, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Mm. It's got Amen. to do with the message that God is giving to somebody because he wants to show them, listen to my servant who is walking with me. And I want to be able to understand that when I put something into my servant who is walking with me, you'll be able to understand that they're not looking at you, but they're looking at me in you. Amen. Hmm. You see... There's a lot of things that went on there. This is the part that I wanted to come to and, and get an understanding. Because of Saul was sitting there and he was talking about what was happening to him. But this is what he said in verse 19. Whereupon, O King Grippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Hmm. Amen. I'm not disobedient to the heavenly vision. When God calls you and we're moving away from the things that a God has wants you to walk with, and sometimes that means you're being disobedient. But when he calls upon you to do something or you're in a position to do something. You got to do it. So that means mm -hmm. if you got to go out there and pray with some people, you got to pray with them. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes you can't do the half stuff. Let me pray you a little while and bring you here, amen, and, and, and leave it alone. And sometimes you got to move in and do some things. And sometimes what I've come to find and realize that while we're walking with Jesus, sometimes the people who are with you or you talking to, they might not want to walk with anybody else. They might just want to walk with you. And because they're walking with you, it's because they have an understanding that God puts some trust in you that you're going to bring them to some particular place. You're not just sitting here coming on every Sunday just to be coming on every Sunday. You're coming on every Sunday because you're walking with Jesus and you realize it and you say to yourself that I put my trust in this man right here because he's walking with Jesus and I'm walking with him. Amen. Amen. The moment that I walk Amen. in a different direction that's Amen. not a God, you still gonna walk in your way, but you're gonna say, Hold up. And if I'm walking in the wrong way, you're gonna say, Hey, hold up now. Wait mm -hmm. a minute. I think we should take this path. Look at it. We have to be able to be responsible for each other, but we got to walk together. You mm -hmm. know, we're not walking as one separate individual but we're walking as this unity and when we start walking in unity that means we start to get together that means we can't be fighting we can't be fussing we can't be doing things because the moment that we do those things that's exactly what the enemy wants to have happen amen i'm trying to get Please, your confusion yeah. so that yeah. each and every one of y'all walk in a different way The Bible says that you'll come in one way and, and, and leave out seven. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you're walking Amen. away from God. You're walking in different directions and you're not walking where God wants you to. Now, I know some of us are walking in what God has wanted us to do, but I'm what you, I bet you he wants you to walk even more. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. we got to come out of some, some scenarios in our, com in our comfort zones Sometimes we got to come out of those particular places. Sometimes you got to push even harder. You can't always say, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do this. And somebody got it in their mindset right now. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Somebody put it in their mindset right now. I don't know mm. whether it's here or whoever read, whoever hear this message that I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and that's it, because I didn't hear from God myself. But how can you hear if you don't have a preacher? Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. I thought I heard it said that I was a preacher. But everything that I'm giving you ain't in nowhere else but in this Bible. I'm giving you word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody's got to make up their mind that they got to do better than the stuff that they've been doing. Some of us got to do that. And amen, it don't start with nobody but myself. I might not have done the best that I could be doing, but I've got to do better. Mm. Because my walk with Jesus is so serious that I can't, I can't, I cannot allow those not the, even the littlest things i gotta be able to make sure i take care of those but guess what he also gave us individuals that's why he put evangelist hooks and evangelist sunshine evangelist um outlaw deacon steve and deaconess anita sister bridges sister miller and all the rest of the brothers and sisters sister shaylin and all the rest of those sister carolyn sister q and all of those along with us elder bryant and all those who are coming along with us. Minister Lewis. And all those who ride with us. So that we all won't do this one-on-one -on -one or by themselves. That we will all do it as a unit. Mm -hmm. Working in one way because we're walking in the same direction. We might be walking on the same road, it might be in different areas, but we all have contact with each other. So we kind of understand where we are. Yes. And there's gonna be days 
when I'm going to be walking in the back and y'all be walking in the front. It's going to be days when I'm walking in the front and you're going to be walking behind me. It's going to be days when we are all walking in the same direction, in the same place, at the same time, and we're going to be walking together. Amen. Yes. The thing is that while we're walking, if we see somebody slowing up, Sometimes we need to slow up just a little to see if we can bring them where we are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are slowing up because they're just getting an understanding of everything around them. And sometimes God is using them in that place. And you say, why that person moves kind of fast, but they're walking real slow today. And that's because God is moving in them, doing some stuff within them. I'm not Amen. talking about your physical. I'm talking about mm. your spiritual because you'll sit there and say, well, I'm moving slow today, you know, in, in, in your in your in your physical. Mm -hmm. When the Lord had already told you to be on time. Mm. Glory to God. The Bible tells us, amen. Glory to God. I want to go back to that part. He says, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed them first unto them of Damascus and the, in, um, Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God and do work meet for repentance. Now, we already know that because of the things that were happening, there was people who wanted to turn on him. There's people right now who in your life, maybe not now, but maybe when you were first starting in, or maybe if you're starting in, there's people who have attitudes right at this moment because you're walking in God. You're walking with Jesus. There's some people Amen. right now who will tell you that you're wasting your time. There's Amen. some people right now who will tell you that 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 uh, where you are is, is, is a joke to them. And some of them are, are say that because of the things that won't happen for them. You know, there's people who come and they're looking for help, but they're looking for help for all the wrong reasons. And because oh, wow. you won't help them get their keep their keep their same habits on, they got a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But you want to let them know that I, I want you to walk with Jesus. And if you walk with me. It'd be different, but sometimes you're, some people are just there only so that they can get what they want before they leave. Mm -hmm. And if they can't get it within that same day, you might not see them again. Amen. Mm -hmm. But somewhere in there, if you're still talking about walking with Jesus, that incorruptible seed is hearing it. And they have to have a made up mind to see if they can walk with Jesus. See, because I understand that if I have a little walk with Jesus, it will change your life. Mm -hmm. It surely changed mine. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us in John 12, 35 and 36, <coughs> excuse me. So Jesus said to them, the light is among you for a little while, for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light. These darkness overtake you. The ones who walk in darkness does not know where he is going. Amen. While you are, while you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. I want to stop right there. The Bible says over here, and it goes to John in the eighth chapter, it says, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. So now they're telling the, to, to you that the light is with you. Jesus is with you for a little while longer. And he said, while you have the light, 
you know, walk in the light, he said, because you don't want darkness to overtake you because darkness is trying to get to you in the first place because it's trying to tell you that if you walk this way, it's going to be all right. But if you decide not to walk in that direction, you can walk down this path that look lit. The moment that you walk down that path, you ever been, oh, let me just stop for a second and say this a different way. You ever walk somewhere and it looks like it's nice and light out there. You walk in that direction because you're like, oh, I can see. And then you turn around, it's all dark. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, it's all dark. You're like, oh, well, I got no choice but to continue to either to move or go back the way I came. No. Okay. No. We being hard headed. You know, that included me. I'm not hiding. And I, 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 I just walked through the path. You know, yeah, you walk through the path and eventually you'll start to see a little light and you'll start walking toward that light, right? Not mm -hmm. not knowing that you might have just walked over all kinds of things to get to there that light is. Mm -hmm. You could have just turned around and took your 10 steps back to where you were, where it was bright, and walked on the same path and walked with you. And on your path, while you're walking in the darkness, you're going to run across every kind of thing and every kind of thing that's going to pull you away. And some things that want you to stay in the darkness. Some of us right now are walking in that same darkness. That darkness is hanging around them. But I'm here to let you know, if you look at all the people on the screen, you'll see the wonderful faces and you'll see the ones right there that I can see your light. And if I can see your light, that means somebody who is walking out the darkness is walking towards you because they see your light. Mm -hmm. Amen. And while you're walking in the light, you say, come on, I want to walk. Come on and walk with me. Because where I'm going, I'm walking with Jesus. Amen. Says, Amen. Uh, the Bible says the one who, who walks in darkness is the one who does not know where he is going. It means you're yeah. lost. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may Amen. become sons of the light. Mm -hmm. When Jesus had said these things, he departed and hid himself from them see because when he said what he had to say it was time for him to do something else he had to take a little walk on his own while walk with jesus because he is walking with you so he's always there walking with you it's just the fact that you just need to come out and say lord jesus i need you to walk with him so you can see where he walking you to oh. you could be lost in your scenario and you might call upon him and he says i'm gonna walk you this way the problem is some of us will walk in that direction as soon as we get to the light we say thank you jesus and we'll go about your own business oh. And once again, you walk in your own way, thinking you all grown up and everything. Hmm. And yeah, yeah, you could be grown in the physical, but you might be a baby in the spiritual, hmm. trying to walk in a place that you need to have the light with you. You need to oh, walk with that. Jesus. Oh, that. Keep this in mind. Luke 1, I'm almost done, y'all. 1 and 37, English Standard Version. For nothing will be impossible with God. Nothing will be impossible with God. Nothing will be impossible with God, meaning that your walk with Jesus is going to be all right. And you can believe that the things that he has told you will be all right with you. How is your walk? How are you walking? Are you walking with the Lord? Or are you trying to walk with the Lord? See, because if you're trying to walk in the Lord, the word try, it means a little something. 
it means you're giving it some kind of effort. But if you put a little bit more effort into it, you'll realize that I can walk in it. Usually when you're trying to do something, you're trying it out versus what you have already. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When it comes to the Lord, you should go all in. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, you, you don't have to take my advice for me. I just know that it changed my life. You know, I, I'm, I'm just talking to you as, 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 a, as, as Pastor B. It changed my life when I got all, all in. And it didn't, it wasn't no instantaneous, I'm all in. It took me some bumps and bruises, some understanding that I'm running back and forth, running in the Lord and out the Lord and in the Lord and out the Lord and in the Lord and out the Lord to realize that I needed to stay in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when I walk with him, I know that I'm walking all right. And he has not forsaken me. He has kept me. He has kept my family. And even when they had to be called home, mm. he, he let me have an understanding that I'm calling them home, but it's all right. See, there's a thing that your father, heavenly father, and your heavenly brother will do for you. Mm. They'll put comfort in you in the midst of everything when nobody else is around and you're breaking down and you got tears in your eyes and you're not feeling good and you're you're feeling sad and you're kind of hurt. I know you've been there before that you had an opportunity and you're sitting there and it seems like no one else cares. And you're saying, Lord, why me? Lord, why is this going on? And all of a sudden the phone rings. And another person who was walking with God Another person who was walking with the Lord picks up the phone and says, hey, I'm just calling to see how you doing. Because okay. while I was walking, I heard you cry. Mm. Mm. It says that uh, the Bible says this, while you're when the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of the light. When Jesus said these things, he departed and hid himself. Walk with Jesus because he's walking with you. I said to keep this in mind for nothing. It will be in possible with God and remember this have a little walk with Jesus tell mm -hmm. him all about your sorrows he will hear your faintest cry and he will answer by and by walk with me Jesus is what I'm calling for today oh, you might not want to say that but I'm saying, walk with me, Jesus. Because I'm going to have a little walk with my Jesus. Oh, Father, I've done what you have asked me to do today. And Father, I thank you for what you have done and what you're getting ready to do. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, I'm asking that if there's anyone on this line, anyone on Zoom, anyone on the conference line, anybody on Facebook who is desiring to get, to get to know you better, Father, would you come? Would you come? Would you come? For those that are on Facebook and you're desiring to get to know Christ a little better for yourself, you can call 1302-202-1110. Use conference code 940-792. Amen. I know that they'll put it up there. 1302-202-1110. Use conference code 940-792. And give us a call. We'll be able to help you out. Amen. Glory to God. 
for all those who are desiring that they have lost something. That they said that I, hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I have to say this before you do. Lord, Lord, I'm asking and I'm praying right now for the individuals who are trying just to give the minimum that they won't give the minimum because the minimum won't do. But Lord, if you have lost, lost the way, Father, if they have lost their direction, if they have lost their area, if they've lost their thoughts, they've fallen short of you, drop the ball, as they say. I'm asking you, Father God, that you will look upon them in a special way, Lord. Lord, I'm asking that you will repeat after me. Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, I come before you as humble as I know how. I am plead unto you, Father, for your forgiveness. I repent right now in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm desiring that you will try me one more time. Lord, I'm asking you to help me in my walk with you that I'll be stronger than I was before. That every area that I'm weak at, that you will show me how to be stronger. And Lord, I thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. For those who are desiring that they will like to be part of Word of the Lamb Ministries. And you're saying that you need a church home, a place to be, a place that will hold you and keep you and pray for you, that the sisters and brothers will touch bases with you, that you would have a conversation and you can, you can ask the questions and you can do the things that you want if you're desiring those things. Amen. Glory to God. Would you come? Would you come? Would you come? Lord, I'm asking you, Father God, that you will move in their area. Lord, I'm asking you that you will open up the doors for them, Father. If you're desiring to become a member of Word of the Lamb Ministries, please go to our website, www.wordofthelamb.org and read what we believe in so that you will know what we believe. Amen, we want you to know that if you're desiring that you have a church home, but you desire to be on watch because you haven't been to your church in a while, please take the opportunity to know that we will watch out for you. We will talk with you and, and keep you involved. And that way you, you have an understanding. You can do some things in this church Amen. Glory to God. You don't have to just visit, but you can do some work. Do some things that will keep you busy. And while you're doing them, you might have an understanding that you might be there. There's some people who have been on watch. And while they were on watch, they decided that they will be members. Lord, I'm asking you that you will open up the doors for them. I ask you that you bless them, Father. But I'm also asking you, Father, that you will show them exactly what they believe in in any church they go to. So they will know, Father God, what are the rules and regulations that they have. Father, I'm also asking you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will hold them in all ways possible. For anyone who's desiring to, for prayer, you can give us a, a call at 1-302-202. 1110, use conference code 940792. Once again, if you're desiring prayer, you can give us a call at 1 302 202 1110. Use conference code 940792. We will be available for prayer. Amen. Glory to God immediately after service. 
Amen, which we'll be ending in a few minutes. Amen. We'll be on for about a good 15 minutes before we move some things in and out the way. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to say this with an understanding. Our hearts and minds clear. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Please be reminded. Amen. Glory to God. That next Sunday, amen, we have our own Deacon Steve speaking on first Sunday. That's the beginning. That's Sunday morning service. And don't forget to mark down May 20th, amen, as the woman of God, Pat G.O.J. Walker, will come and, and, and be available for the woman's ministry, and amen. And at that particular time on that day, I, I believe that it's open to all individuals for that particular aspect amen. amen and if there's any other questions or concerns you can see evangelist outlaw you can email her at word of the lamb at outlook.com amen and or any of the, the evangelists at that particular email and ask a question and amen i'm sure that they will get back in touch with you um amen with that being said for those once again if you're desiring prayer, 1-302-202-1110, use conference code 940792, amen. For the absence of, praying for the absence of Brother Steve and Sister Shaylin, amen, glory to God, Brother Brother Piercy, amen. To shout out to Sister Caroline and Sister Q and all the rest of them around the area. We love you all, amen, with your hands lifted up, amen. Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Father God, thanking you for all things that have done. Father, the word has been preached, Father God, the invitations have been done, Father, the doors have been opened. Lord, I'm asking you right now, God, that each and every individual will take the opportunity to walk towards you. Now, Father, as we leave this place, but never your sight, I ask you that you will keep us in your particular humble peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. For those of you on Facebook, amen. God bless you. We love you, and we hope that you have a really good day. Amen. God bless you, and you are dismissed. God bless you, Sister Miller. We love you as well. Amen. Sister Bridget, we love you as well. Amen. Glory to God.